So, today we're looking at quite an interesting program. If you're the kind of person that likes Ubuntu, but wants a rolling release distribution that's a bit like Arch Linux, this might just be the program for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rolling Rhino, right now on the Linux Lounge. Indeed, today we're going to be taking a look at this, Rolling Rhino. Now what this is, is it's a script developed by one of the main Ubuntu desktop developers. And what it does is, as it says here, it's a simple shell script to make Ubuntu track the Devel series. Now essentially what this does is it will take your Ubuntu daily install and turn it into a sort of rolling release distribution in a similar vein to Arch Linux or something like that. Now it's not going to be quite as rolling as Arch and it's not going to be as stable as Ubuntu. But I guess I could see this being good for people who like Ubuntu but want something rolling release. Now, as you can see, we're on uh, their GitHub page here, and it's pretty nifty. You've got the Ubuntu Rolling Rhino logo up here, which, by the way, this is a great logo. Um, but if we go down, they kind of explain that, yeah, it's a rolling release. There are several caveats. So I should say, if you want to try this out, make sure that you don't have any PPAs installed or anything, because this program does go in and mess with your repositories. Also, there's a few other shows that have covered it. And the important bit is down here with the usage. Now, if you want to install this, you're probably not going to be able to do this with the Ubuntu that you just have installed. You're going to have to switch to the daily images and then run this. Now, I'm not sure if this would work with the standard Ubuntu non-LTS release that you can just get from the website by default. But... Basically, these recommend that you use a daily image. It definitely will not work with an LTS release, or at least not yet. And basically, you can run this with three commands, which is pretty nifty, and we're going to try that in a bit. And you can also see that uh, that's what it's supposed to output. They give their credits, and they have a to-do list. So at some point, they're going to have like a nice GUI and all that sort of thing, which, yes, this is a terminal program, but it's fairly easy to get to grips with. So let's go ahead and just give this a try and see what happens. So first, of course, we want to go into our terminal. And one thing that's not explained in this guide is that you're going to need to install Git. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly do that. And there we are, it's just downloading Git. And once you've installed Git, then we can literally just copy paste these commands and let's see what happens. Now another thing that this uh, sort of three command list doesn't illustrate is that uh, Rolling Rhino does need to be run as root because it, of course, you know, goes messing with system files. And there we go, it goes ahead and detects everything. Yes, we are indeed running Groovy Gorilla. It is indeed Ubuntu and we don't have any PPAs. And then what it will go ahead and do is uh, start changing all of our uh, repositories to use the Ubuntu developer repositories which essentially will as I said give us a sort of rolling release like experience and it will give us like newer package versions and that sort of thing so as you can see rolling Rhino is now ready and we have this cool little uh, ASCII logo so let's go ahead and run the updates and see what we get well, it seems that we have conflicting repositories, but it might still work anyway, so let's just try it out. And apparently we are fully up to date. So I guess that the uh, daily build might have been fully up to date anyway, but let's go ahead and quickly reboot and just see what happens. Okay then, so I've gone ahead and rebooted and done a little bit of experimentation. And if we scroll up a little bit, I can point out that I'm still getting those errors. Now, this is something that I do need to say about uh, using Rolling Rhino. If you use this, it's probably not going to be super stable. Because, like I say, it is a rolling release, and Ubuntu definitely is not designed to be a rolling release. If you absolutely want a rolling release, and don't care about anything else, you're probably better off using something like Arch or Manjaro or whatever else. Those distributions are actually designed to be rolling release. Ubuntu is not. However, with that said, if you're someone who particularly likes Ubuntu, well, as you can see, I went ahead and tried to install a program and it did work, which says to me that everything does seem to still be working despite the errors. 
if you're someone who wants a rolling release but likes Ubuntu, this might be a good option for you, but probably not for a mission critical machine. Like this is not going to be stable and it's not supposed to be. This is more for people who, as I say, like Ubuntu, but also need to have a rolling release system for one reason or other. You know, maybe you're a developer who wants the newest versions of programs. Maybe you just like your Linux distribution experience to be on the bleeding edge. Or maybe you just want something to do to kill some time, and this might be a fun thing to tinker with. But all in all, I've got to say, Rolling Rhino is a pretty nifty little script, and I would absolutely recommend anyone to give it a look at, because it's, it is kind of neat, and it will let you see kind of what's up and coming for Ubuntu. I'm probably going to mess with it a little bit further, maybe I'll make a follow-up video and sort of see how Ubuntu is as a rolling release distribution. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed watching me sort of tinker with this program, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.